Are you achieving the best results with your pay package? That's a question that often comes up in the area of compensation. So the first step you need to take to, de to decide this is to actually define what that best result is. Is the best result in your organization increased sales? Is it uh, more equity in the workforce? Is it more incentive? Whatever it is, you need to define that and hold on to that concept because that's the program you're going to build towards. That's the goal you're going to work on. The next step is to be sure that the compensation package actually incents those same results that you're looking for. I worked with an organization once that had a sales force and the compensation for the sales force was, you know, a commission structure. And as the commission structure uh, was overlaid on, onto the uh, onto the results of the sales, as it went up, the as the number of sales went up, the commission actually dropped. So what they found over time is that they were actually disincenting the additional sales. And unfortunately, they weren't looking at the fact that those were the most um, profitable. Uh, transactions, the higher ends on the sales. So what you also want to look at is um, your benchmarks. Do you have industry data that's talking to you about your uh, compensation package? Do you, are you using tools like salary surveys? Uh, and another um, very helpful area, particularly around um, a very skilled uh, type of position, is if you're working with a qualified placement professional. So I would recommend that you be sure to identify that desired outcome, what you're trying to achieve with your compensation package, and then check back and make sure that the results are achieving what you're asking it to do.